This video is about front oblique. As I said earlier, there are two types of oblique, front and top, and we will focus on front oblique in this video. Now remember that oblique has two of the three attributes of parallel drawing systems. Oblique, first of all, is three-dimensional, and secondly, it has true shape. It has true shape of the plane right here. This is really an orthographic view, and we're taking an orthographic view, and then we're going to extend it into 3D space, and that is exactly what an oblique drawing is. So, you need to decide the angle of the axis that recedes. You never choose 45 degrees, and why is that? Because if you were to choose 45, sometimes it would overlap other lines in the drawing. So we're not going to choose 45. And so let's say we choose this angle, which is approximately 30. Then you draw lines that are parallel to this angle here. And then it is very important that you foreshorten the planes that recede. So for instance, this is one unit right there. If we were to draw a cube and we were to draw the receding line a full one unit like this, then our cube would look like this. And ladies and gentlemen, that doesn't look like a cube. That looks too deep because our, our eyes foreshorten. And so what I like to do is to foreshorten to about three quarters. And here's an example. If I were to take this, make it into quadrants, draw a line, then I will say this is three quarters and that is one unit deep. And then now my cube looks like this. And I can erase that. And that looks more like a cube. That, and then we can darken it. So that's a front oblique of a cube. Notice too that this plane in the front is true shape, but also the plane back here is true shape because these two planes are parallel to each other. All right, let me show you now how you can draw a front oblique with a different angle that recedes. Let's say we're drawing a cube. This angle of axis that recedes could be more than 45 degrees. It could be like that. But still, we have to foreshorten. We have to foreshorten. So I'm going to pick approximately three quarters like that, and then come over. And this is our cube now in front oblique that is foreshortened with an angle here that is greater than 45 degrees. All right, now let me show you some other things you can do with front oblique. As I said, the big feature of it is that one of the planes is true shape. So let's say we wanted to draw a cylinder that had dimensions one by one by two. So the cylinder has this plane that is a circle. It is easier to draw a circle in true shape than foreshortened. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw my circle right here. And just as I showed you in the previous video, that you can use the eight-point method. Now, notice that you do not have to go through exactly these points here, these two-thirds points on the half diagonal. They're just approximate marks. All right, so now we have one by one, and this has some thickness to it. It is a tube. Okay, 
Now, we need to choose an angle here. I'm going to choose this angle approximately. And then I'm going to draw lines that recede at this angle from the four corners. Now remember we need to foreshorten. Now this is one unit, so if I were to do this, you would say, well, that's one unit. I'm going to foreshorten to approximately three quarters, which means that this would look like my, my cube, all right? And so that would be zero, one, and if you want to do two, then you just extend the diagonals and that's two. All right, okay. Now, the square in the back is parallel to the front square, which means that is also true shape. So we are now going to draw a circle on the square that is on the rear end of this tube. We're going to use the eight point method and just do that, approximate, okay. So we have a circle here, a circle there. Then you connect these points here that are tangent to the circles. And now what we have is we have a tube. What you can do is make this a dashed line because that's a hidden line. Now I'm going to do some shading with our sun coming from 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Okay, that is a sketch of a tube with some shading. It is front oblique. It has the dimensions one by one by two. The diameter is one unit. That is the end of this video. The next video will then show you plan oblique. Thank you very much.